we're entering a new phase where AI agents are transforming how we work right within our terminals. And I just found the easiest way to build and deploy AI agents that can automate all kinds of tasks directly from your command line. Allow me to introduce Agentuity, a cloud platform purpose-built for AI agents, making it effortless to build, deploy, and run them at scale without ever worrying about the infrastructure. With the single CLI command, you can launch agents onto fully agentic infrastructure, where you can monitor performance in real time, auto scale instantly, and connect them to multiple channels like APIs, chat, webhooks, email, SMS, and even voice. It supports Python, Node.js, and Bun, which makes it super fast, and it enables secure communication between agents, so you can create complex workflows with ease. For example, take a look at this agent created with Agentuity's CLI. In a single prompt, it spun up an agent that labels and comments on GitHub issues. You start by providing a few details to configure your agent, things like names, descriptions, as well as authentication. And then, right from the CLI, Agentuity deploys it with a single command. Within seconds, your agent is live and ready to work, and you can see that it is now deployed with Agentuity's cloud, and it's gonna be able to label bugs with whatever it sees off of GitHub. Agentuity also allows you to work with Vercel, Pro AI, Langchain, Llama Index, as well as Pydantic and even Mastra. And like you saw from that example, with a single command, you can easily deploy to production, which is just insane. Agentuity also breaks down framework barriers with agent native infrastructure that lets agents built with any tool like Crew AI, Langchain, or even fully custom code communicate and work together effortlessly. No matter the framework, your agents can actually collaborate naturally across different platforms. And if you want, Agentuity also offers open source pre-configured agents, essentially ready to go setups that give you the fastest possible way in building your next AI agent. This is where you can build something like a sales deployment re representative or something like a Tavli research agent. Just simply click on the spotlight that you want to work with and you can deploy with Agentuity. But now what we're going to do is simply go ahead and set up Agentuity within our actual terminal. Agentuity could be used on Windows using WSL as well as macOS and Linux. Since I'm on Windows, I'm going to be using WSL. And what I want to do is simply copy this command over here to install Agentuity within my terminal. But if you're on macOS and if you have Homebrew installed, the install script will automatically use Brew for installation. But now, since I have opened up WSL, I can simply paste in this command and it's going to start installing it within my computer. Now that we have it installed, what you want to do is type in Agentuity and then you want to type in create. And this is where you want to first go ahead and sign up. If you haven't created an account, you can do this completely for free. So simply go ahead and do that. But if you don't, you can simply go ahead and log in with an existing account. And there we go. We have it authenticated. And all we got to do now is simply go ahead and create a new project with Agentuity. This is where you can activate the Agentuity MCP to enhance these different tools as well, like Cursor, Windsurf, or even something like Cloud Code. And what we want to do now is go ahead and click on Yes to install all the different MCP servers for our tools. And once that is done, we can continue forward and start off by selecting the runtime. This is where you can choose the runtime environment like Bun, which is really fast, Node.js, the runtime for JavaScript and TypeScript, or Python plus UV. Now I'm going to use Bun because it's extremely fast and it works really good with Agentuity. So I can simply click on enter. Now this is where you can select a template. This is where you can use something like an open AI template for the Bun project. You can use Anthropic, Google's Gen AI, and so many others. So what we're going to do is actually use open AI because it's blazing fast with its startup and with Bun, it has near instant cold start times compared to node.js which is great for agents that spin up on demand so now what we're going to do is provide the project details this is where we're first going to provide a project name and a description for the new agent we're trying to create similar to the agent that was showcased at the start we want it so that it automatically labels prioritizes as well as leaves comments on new github issues now this is where we're going to create a github issue triage agent this is where it could even assign them the right team members to each individual issue. 
So I've provided the name as well as the description. All I got to do is click enter. And now what you got to do is just configure your initial agent, provide the agent name, the agent description as well. And then you can also provide authentication. This is where I'm going to leave it as blank because I don't need any authentication for my agent. So we're going to leave this as none and click on enter. You have a couple of deployment options where you can use GitHub Actions, where you can deploy with GitHub Actions workflow with the CI CD integration for that pipeline. You also have the GitHub app and then you can either skip it as well and click enter and then you can have it set the directory of where the project should be created in. I'm going to leave it within my workbench. So I'm going to click enter and then it's going to rapidly create the project. It's that simple, guys. I had simply sent in the prompt and it has already deployed my first agent where I can switch into the directory and run the agentuity dev to run the project on a local deployment mode. So now that I am within this project directory, I can run the agentuity dev command, which will run the project locally in the development mode. So within a couple of seconds, it'll provide me the dev mode. This is where I can copy this link as well as my local link where I can access whatever it has deployed or simply just test out the agent in this deployment mode. The dev mode is a way for you to deploy the agents locally and it's essentially to get instant feedback and complete visibility of how the agent is going to be functioning. So we can see the GitHub issue triage agent has been now uh, deployed within this dev environment. This is essentially where you can get a good understanding of what is happening with your agent and how it's actually functioning with the logs as well as the live sessions that will be deployed within this development environment. You can test it out as well as run different prompts to see how it's actually functioning. And just to showcase this in action, I've actually gone along and I've opened up the code and you can see that within the agent to YAML file, it gives you the project ID, the name, as well as the description that we actually gave when we first set it up within the CLI. But if we go over to the source file and within this TypeScript file, you're going to be able to see the agent that was created. This is the agent that we had created based off the TypeScript template that uh, we had selected. And this is where it's going to be able to analyze the issues and provide the triage recommendation. This is where it will label, prior, prioritize, it'll deploy the team member, and then even comment. So this is where I've even deployed a development server and it's super simple to do so. Just run the bun run dev command or the agent to dev command and it'll open up dev mode locally. But after providing the actual JSON payload, I can see it's working and then you can see that it triggers the actual agent. And within a couple of seconds, we should see the issue reported within our repo. And there you go. We have the web crawler fails to handle the JavaScript heavy pages and you can see the issue breakdown based off the agent that agent 2 had configured being reported within my repo. This is where it specifies the issue description, steps to reproduce, et cetera, et cetera. And remember guys, none of these triggers were things that I developed from scratch. The templates were given to me by Agentuity and this gives the working agent the flexibility that it needs to actually function. And by what I mean, how easy it is, is basically just simply editing and configuring something like implementing a tweak, like adding mobile testing tip. This is where the tip is to make sure that to test the issue on both iOS and Android devices. And this is how easy it is because you can sim simply tweak the agent's code and that way this template will be able to implement that change that I've just made with this modular input. And there we go. I simply ran the test again with the new tweak that I've made within my repo and we have this new issue reported. The mobile app crashes when scraping responsive websites and it was able to base it off of testing it with an Android or iOS device. This is the capability of Agentuity and how fast it is in terms of creating these different agents. Now that we have thoroughly ran our agent within dev mode and tweaked it, we're going to now go ahead and deploy it. And this is where it is super simple. I just need to go into my terminal and type in Agentuity deploy and click enter. This is where it will rapidly Go ahead and deploy our agent to the cloud. And it's easy as that, guys. It's super simple. And just like that, our project was deployed. It didn't take 30 minutes. It didn't take 10 minutes. It took approximately 20 seconds. And we have it so that our AI 
agent is now deployed and trackable. Now within the Agentuity Cloud, you're gonna be able to track your project. And within the Agents tab, this is where you'll get a good understanding, a visualization of the agent actually functioning with sessions, log, storage, and the AI gateway displayed. Sessions could be manageable over here as well, as well as the deployments and then logs could be accessible. And then obviously settings is where you can get the API for the SDK. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below, or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. And as you saw from all of those different demos, agents aren't just chatbots. They're autonomous workers that can sense, decide, as well as act on their own. Beyond just conversations, they can handle these different tasks like automated data processing or monitoring systems and even sending notifications, which you can do exactly with Agentuity across so many different sorts of templates and services. It's like realizing that agents can operate independently and execute complex workflows without constant human input. This is why Agentivity is pretty important and really useful, especially with the CLI, where you can deploy, run, and scale these agents on the cloud, built to do almost anything with impressive speed, simplicity, and the power to transform how the work gets done. So I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily get started. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel. Make sure you join the newsletter as well as the Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.